this video is brought to you by Beauty Forever Hair today. I showed you that I had some quick blue bleach, some 40 volume developer. I suggest you use a 30 if you're new to this. Um, um, I have three bundles in a frontal, 24, 24, and uh, 20 inch frontal, I believe. All the links to this hair will be down in the description box, the length and stuff like that. So I just wanted to include me sewing down my frontal. And I wanted to show you guys how I did these curly bundles because I did it a little bit different than what I usually do. This method that I'm using to sew down my frontal um, keeps it really, really flat and seamless. So I like to go underhanded and I also like to use the swoop method, I guess, or is it called the loop method? Y'all don't get me wrong, okay? Um, but it makes the frontal stay very flat and keeps it secure. So yeah, I wanted to come and show you guys that. Now that my frontal is all laid, I am ready to lay these bundles. Look how flat this is, you guys. I can already feel this install gonna be lit. So now I have my bundles, and I believe it was a 26, 24, 22. Y'all, check the description box because your girl can't remember, okay? But as you can see, I turned my cap inside out. So I already sold my frontal down. I turned my cap inside out because I'm gonna sew that first track along the edge of the cap on the opposite side right and this is so if I try to wear my hair up in a ponytail or a bun or something um, I basically don't show any cap it'll just be showing the bottom of the hair if you get what I'm saying we used to do this back in the day when we used to make them U part wigs but I just brought this same method over to my frontal wigs now i'm going to flip it back over and i'm going to continue to sew in my normal pattern i did not cut the weft i'm just going to use the flip over method flip that weft over and continue to sew flat and work my way up to the top of the cap where i will finish off my wig it's really easy you guys i hope that i explained it the correct way but it's really really simple so now um, you guys' favorite part, which is plucking. I'm just gonna be using some water and some tweezers and a rat tail comb. And so with this plucking method that I'm doing, I'm just parting out the baby hairs in the front because you want to start behind the hairline. I think I preach this all the time. Make sure even when you're plucking behind the hairline, you're going behind that line. You guys, you the, the purpose of plucking the frontal is to give you that dimension to make it look at, like it's coming out of your scalp and to make it look as natural as possible. Our natural hairlines are not that full, so it's okay um, to go in and pluck your frontals. That is going to make you have that flawless look and that natural look that you want. And it's also going to make you be able to lay those baby hairs in a very, very nice way. So this is how much hair I'm plucked out right now, but remind you, I gotta go around this whole front section of this frontal. And you want it to look like it's pulling out the scalp when you pull it back. That's how you know if you've been doing a good job plucking. Take your time doing this, time, doing this, you guys, because it can be tedious. So I would just suggest you take your time and you know, you keep trying, you know? So I'm using my Care Care Wax Stick because I'm getting ready to hot comb this scalp, honey. <laughs> I'm gonna hot comb this so it can lay flat and be as seamless as possible. All right, and after that, I'm gonna be moving on to the application. You guys know I'm just gonna put on a new stocking cap. I'm not gonna be doing the cap method today. I'm just gonna put it on, let it be back there. I'm lining this up with um, my edges in my ear because I have to cut off this excess cap. That's very important, you guys. That cap will hurt your ear. You do not want it to be laying over your cap and you won't get no flawless install if you got it laying over your ear. So cut off those flaps. Also, I'm gonna take my razor because it's easier making the jagged edges, just cutting the lace with a razor. To me, when I cut it with scissors, it just looks too straight and you know, I really don't like it. All right? Okay. 
So now that I have that right, I'm going to just take my concealer palette, add some color to this cap so I can blend it in a little bit more because I'm going to be doing my makeup anyway. I'm using Gots to Be Glue Blasting Spray to lay this wig down today and I'm just going to take my blow dryer and that's pretty much it you guys. I'm going to lay this down my regular way. You're going to see me do these baby hairs so stay tuned to tell to <laughs> stay tuned to pay attention to how i'm going to be laying my baby hairs down i know you guys requested to see that so i will be um explaining that later on in the video so stay tuned <laughs> you guys so far what i've learned with doing the baby hairs is the shorter you cut them the more natural they will be you don't want to cut them too short because it will look weird but you want to cut them short enough to where it looks really natural so that's what i'm showing you here you know you part off that little section and then this is the best mousse for this like i cannot preach this enough any other mousse that I've tried has made my um, hairline lift up because I'm not using lace glue. This makes it not lift at all, you guys. This Nairobi foaming mousse, um, you can order it on Amazon. I got it from this beauty supply store here that actually carries it. And I'm going to go buy so many more because this stuff is the gold. This is what actually made my baby hair step up 10 more notches. And like I say in each um, video when I'm doing my baby hairs, it's all about the C motion. And it's about getting it to the way that you like it, how you want it to be shaped on your head. And just constantly doing that comb back motion and that swooping motion. Um, the comb back motion is what's going to help it look very, very realistic. And it's also going to help with making the effect of the hair coming out of your scalp and the swooping effect is just going to give you those baby hairs so yeah you guys that's pretty much it when it comes to this it's not that hard i spent so much time making this hard when really i didn't have the right product get the right product and it will not be as hard as it looks i promise so yeah let's continue all right so i'm back and i'm going to take these clips off of the hair now um and i'm going to take off this part i got three products right here you guys it's some water oh that lace is melted darling it's melted i do that every time i do my makeup off of the dang on camera and then when i come back on here i look like ghost face <laughs> because it ain't blended up oh my gosh well, let me take her that real quick. Okay. Look how easy. Look how easy. I am going to spray my face with something. I'm going to dig in my nose afterwards. And I'm probably going to end up adding an elastic band to this. But right now, I'm trying to figure out which way I want to wear this hair. So, I got some water in this spray bottle. We're going to see how far I get with this. That's all that's in here. It's a water. And I'm doing it like this because I want my hair to stay really big, I believe. But you know what? It's taking too long. So I'm going to go over here to the sink. And I'm going to go ahead and wet this and um, soak it down. I'm going to go ahead and apply like two. No, actually that's too much. So one little drop of this. Uh, Damn. Of this Garnier Fructis is actually some anti freeze serum, sleek and shine. I'm gonna put it like this. 
So I'm gonna take this and put it. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good and it's so soft. It makes the hair so soft. I am gonna take two, one, two pumps. Oh, 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 <laughs> my God, I love big hair. I absolutely love it. Okay, let me go over to the sink and wet this. I'll be right back. Okay, so I didn't wet it a whole lot because I, like I said, I want my hair to stay big. I am experiencing some shedding, but it's not too much. You know, this is curly hair. It is three bundles and a frontal, and I did cut the webs when I got up here so that I could get all of this in so I could lay it flat, you know what I'm saying? And I'm about to take my hot comb now, and, whoa, I thought burn my down. Sheesh. Sheesh. Woo. It's hot, sis. Hot girl, summer is in there. In there. Woo. Woo. I got Indian in my family. What tribe you from? You know how every time somebody say they got Indian in their family, they say Cherokee. I don't even think that's a real damn tribe. <laughs> That's like a part of a bloodline or something. <laughs> but this is, girl, girl, quit talking, quit talking. I'm gonna go ahead and go for a part to the side, like this hill. Oh. Mhm. Mm I'm gonna make that leg like that. Make it do, make it do what it's told. We're gonna make her do what she's told to do. Are you obedient today? I sound like some slutty sex talk, y'all. Mm, mm. mm -hmm. Okay. You always on that curve that part over. Girl, look at girl. Is that scalp or what? Oh my gosh, I probably really shut up. Do the damn hair already. <laughs> so now I can take my water bottle and finish her off. And the fine these curls. Oh, and they so pretty. They so pretty. Every time I film, I be like just getting out of the shower. And for some reason, I neglect the hell out of my elbow. Every time. And then when I be editing, I be like, oh my God, I wish I could like put some lotion on my elbow. <laughs> put some lotion on the elbow, sis. And then I'm gonna take one more drop of this because I don't want her to get frizzy. I want her to keep her curls. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do that. This. Ooh. And she is gorgeous. She is gorgeous. I'm gonna take my comb. You don't have to do this still, but I'm just gonna do it because I like to. And I'm gonna like loosen up them baby hairs to make them not be so still. But you can keep them hard. 